Another day, another terrifically entertaining game in this World Cup 2018. Four goals, plenty of mistakes, near constant attacking and some terrific general play, if you're not enjoying this, then football might not be the sport for you. Japan came from behind twice to grab a 2-2 draw with Senegal, and while the latter will feel they should have all three points in qualification wrapped up, Aliusise's smiles at full time showed they are still on track, Senegal took the lead in the 11th minute, Yusuf. Bali took a shot from the left side of the area, Japan keeper Eiji Kawashima tried to punch it clear but it only got as far as Sadio Main's knee, six yards from goal, and from there it bounced into the corner of the net. Just as against Poland, Senegal had been the better team, and just as against Poland their goals came from defensive blunders, at fault for the first goal and looked unorthodox at best throughout the game solid in defense and a strong physical presence against the likes of Neon strong in defense, but had plenty to do with the threat of Senegal's Neon comfortable alongside Yoshida at the heart of defense with most of Senegal's pressure coming from the wide areas had all kinds of problems with SARR in the first half but dealt with him well under lots of pressure and got forward himself led from the front for Japan with all his experience, worked hard and covered a lot of ground one of the few to have real quality and ability with long balls, and showed that with a beautiful cross-field pass for Inua's goal did well to support his team going forward, and tried to get in the box as much as possible but at fault for the first Senegal goal of the danger but didn't have as much of an impact on the game as he would have liked got the equalizing goal for Japan with a wonderful finish, found space and had time on the ball where others did not less of an impact in this one compared to the first game, but held the ball up as best he could could do nothing for Inua's goal, but his poor decision making gifted Japan their second goal he dealt well with the pressure and got his goal, could be one of the young stars of this World Cup a solid presence in the Senegalese defense, and the Japanese goal Goal came from the left which he couldn't do a great deal about good in the air, and a real leader in the Senegal defense. Limited Osaka's impact on the game his strike forced the mistake from the Japanese goalkeeper and gave Maine an easy finish early on. Excellent going forward throughout the game provided little for Senegal, and was the first to be replaced poor in defense, but as a winger did everything you could ask for. Pace, power and trickery another in a more defensive role in midfield, an area in which Senegal won the battle in the first half in particular offered stability in midfield that allowed the likes of Maine and SARR to fly forward on the wings the captain has plenty of responsibility in this side, and although fortuitously got the crucial opening goal good hold up play, combined with pace and power to run into the channels Neon was a constant danger for Senegal at fault for the first goal and looked unorthodox at best throughout the game solid in defense and a strong physical presence against the likes of Neong strong in defense, but had plenty to do with the threat of Senegal's Neong comfortable alongside Yoshida at the heart of defense with most of Senegal's pressure coming from the wide areas had all kinds of problems with SARR in the first half but dealt with him well under lots of pressure and got forward himself led from the front for Japan with all his experience, worked hard and covered a lot of ground one of you to have real quality and ability with long balls, and showed that with a beautiful cross-field pass for Inua's goal did well to support his team going forward and tried to get in the box as much as possible, but at fault for the first Senegal goal of the danger but didn't have as much of an impact on the game as he would have liked got the equalizing goal for Japan with a wonderful finish, found space and had time on the ball where others did not less of an impact in this one compared to the first game, but held the ball up as best he could could do nothing for Inua's goal, but his poor decision-making gifted Japan their second second goal he dealt well with the pressure and got his goal, could be one of the young stars of this World Cup a solid presence in the Senegalese defense, and the Japanese goal came from the left which he couldn't do a great deal about good in the air, and a real leader in the Senegal defense. Limited Osaka's impact on the game his strike forced the mistake from the Japanese goalkeeper and gave Maine an easy finish early on. Excellent going forward throughout the game provided little for Senegal, and was the first to be replaced poor in defense, but as a winger did everything you could ask for. Pace, power and trickery another in a more defensive role in midfield, an area in which Senegal won the battle in the first half in particular offered stability in midfield that allowed the likes of Maine and SARR to fly forward on the wings the captain has plenty of responsibility in this side, and although fortuitously got the crucial. Opening goal good hold up play, combined with pace and power to run into the channels Neong was a constant danger for Senegal before the game, Japan manager Akira Nishina rather disappointingly focused on the physical aspect of Senegal, commenting that he had asked some of his players to, put on 5 kilograms and grow 5 centimeters. 
but in the opening exchanges the most striking thing was not the speed of the Senegalese players, but the speed of their possession, zipping the ball around as if skimming stones. Senegal were patient, attacking at the right times and broadly down the flanks, and looked to be in full control. Why Maine must get better as Senegal's games begin to get tougher and then, just after the half-hour mark, Japan surprisingly leveled. Yuto Nagatomo made a diagonal run across the area, and looked a little irked when Takashi Inui took over possession on the left of the box. But he need not have been so concerned, as Inui swept a terrific shot into the bottom corner of the net, shaving Kadi Menjai's fingernails on the way in. When the halftime whistle blew a few Senegal players reacted with annoyance, throwing their hands up and animatedly discussing events as they walked off the pitch. That wasn't surprising, their general play had deserved more than simply being level, although their finishing didn't match the rest of their game. Main opened the scoring for Senegal, AFP, Getty Images, after the break the game was more cagey, both sides missed good chances, and by Neong blazing over after Maya Yoshida had misjudged a header, while at the other end Senegal were given a couple of let-offs from Yuya Osako, one as he missed a free header, another as he missed the ball entirely after a smart low cross into the area, they were inches away from conceding again after the hour mark, as he knew he measured a near-perfect curling shot that flicked the top of the bar and went over. From a position of superiority when they really should have killed the game off, Senegal were in danger of losing it, those passed up chances ultimately came to be costly for Japan. Senegal retook the lead with 20 minutes remaining, after Neong flicked it across from the left didn't quite get enough on it and it ran through to Musa Weg. The 19-year-old, dashing it at the far post, succeeded where many of his more senior colleagues failed and thumped the ball into the roof of the net, and relief abounded. Honda scored late to leave Group H wide open, Getty Images, but once again they lost the lead. When Yuya Osako picked up the ball on the left side of the area, following a cross from the right, he fizzed it back from where it came in case a K Honda popped up at the back post to seal a point. Ultimately both sides will probably be relatively happy with this. A victory would have been enough for qualification now, but they go into the final game of the group stages in good shape to qualify. Follow the independent sport on Instagram here, for all of the best images, videos and stories from around the sporting world.